for our glorious choir. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The second Bible reading for today's carol service is taken from Isaiah chapter 4, chapter 7, verse 4. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 4. If you're there, shout hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 4, I read. And say to him, take, take heed. And be quiet, do not fear or be faint hearted. For these two stones of smoking firebrands, for the first anger of resin and Syria, and the son of Rama, Ramalia. And the second reading is taken from Matthew 1 18 to 15, 18 to 25. And he reads Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother, Mary, was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. 19. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not wanted to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. 20. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you your Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. 21. And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. 22. For all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, 23. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. 24. Then Joseph, being arose from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took of him his wife, 25 and the last, and did not know her till she had brought forth her first son, her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. Oh, he, he 
Now time for our third carol, O Little Town of Bethlehem.
if we want to finish by half past seven, we, we need to cut out one or two songs in, that, in those uh, row of songs. Praise the Lord. Um, I'll just drop one or two things in our spirit and we, we will pray because we've got just ten minutes left for, for this. Amen. Now, the main reason why we are gathered here is to celebrate the birth of Jesus, as I said. And the main reason why Jesus had to come is this cross that is standing in front of me. The cross belongs to the earth, so he needed to come to the earth to come and die on it. Jesus Christ came for five main reasons, as demonstrated by the cross. The first one is that he came to give us righteousness so that he can take our sins away. We know that. Secondly, he came to die so that we will live. Thirdly, he became a curse on the tree so that we can be blessed. Number four, number four he, he became poor so that we can be rich. And number five, he, he, was, uh, he was sick so that we can be healed. Praise the Lord. Now, no one has ever done that before. That's why he's called the firstborn. He's the only one who, who did that. And everything he came to do from the day he was born was about the miraculous. So Christianity is synonymous with miracle. Every single thing he did from the, the way he was born, the, where he was born, all the things he did in Galilee, he raised the dead, he raised Lazarus, he fed 5,000, he walked on water, he did so many things. They're all about the miraculous. So I'll ask you to please rise to your feet this evening. And we are going to pray just two prayers before we come back to the choir. And what I'll say, I'll suggest that the choir just pick one of the last three songs, whichever one you are comfortable with, and we, we take that. Amen. A man of God was suffering from bladder weakness or bladder failure. What do they call it? And so, obviously, he goes to the toilet to ease himself almost every 10 minutes. That's an embarrassment if you have a crusade of three hours to do. Where will you run to from the altar? So he went to God and said, Father, I want a miracle from you. And God packaged a new bladder, brought it to him in a state of sleep, opened it and said, open your fly. He opened this fly and he clicked it inside him. You will have heard it before, the man of God, Paul Young, Cho. I want you to go to God for a miracle before the end of this year. Christianity is all about miracles. This season is all about miracles. He said, I will die and I will rise. And he did it. Nobody else has done that. Nobody else has done that. Every other person who died and called himself a progenitor of religion, they are still lying in their grave today. All of them. Every single one of them, Abdushin, this, every just name them. They are still in their grave. He said, I will come. And he came. Nobody has done that before. Ask for one miracle from the Almighty God before the end of this year. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. So I will ask, um, we'll take the last Bible reading, and then we take one song. Then we come here and we close the meeting. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Our third Bible reading, taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse 15. Genesis, chapter 3, verse 15, that's the Old Testament. So it reads thus, and I will put enmity 
between you and the man, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Praise the Lord. And the second part of the third Bible reading is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 4 to 11. Luke chapter 2, verses 4 to 11. It goes thus. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said unto them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. That ends uh, the third reading. I pray that the work of Christ will be made perfect in our life till the end of time in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can we be on our feet of the last carol song? Carol number six. Angels from the realm of glory.
Yeah.